When writing object-oriented code in Python, an instance method is a function within a class that only objects of a class can call. For example, think about the method called jump. Okay, you can't just call a jump method. You don't know what it is that's jumping. Is it a frog? Is it a grasshopper? Is it a person? So this type of function, jump, needs an object associated to it, such as like frog.jump or person.jump. So that's an example of an instance method. It's a method that requires an object to be there in order for you to call that method. As opposed to a, a function that's not tied to an object like add, if you want to just add two numbers together, you don't need an object in order to do that. And instance methods are called with dot notation, which is also called the attribute reference operator. And this provides access to attributes or methods of an object. For example, laptop dot restart, where dot restart is calling the instance method restart to restart a laptop or person.eat is another example where a person is, is eating by calling the eat instance method. The double underscore init double underscore method is a constructor method which sets up the initial state of the new instance. The double underscores indicate that the method is a special method name which implements some special behaviors for that class. And in this case, init is the constructor of the class. Let's take a look at some examples of instance methods using the dot notation and also try out the constructor with the init method. By the way, init stands for initialize, if you haven't figured that out already. All right, so we have a class called person, and this code right here between lines two and five is the person constructor defined by the double underscore init double underscore method. And init stands for initialize, and what it's doing is it's setting these three attributes, name, age, and weight, to some default values. So if you created a person object, let's create a person. So this is the example from the previous video. Person one, and set that to a person. And just printed out the data for person one by calling the print person instance method, which is just the method that only a person object is able to call it'll print out NA 0 and 0, 0.0 for the weight. And where did it get this data from? I never set the data down here in the main method, but I did up here in this init method, and this is the default values that it's getting. But I could provide my own information to it, person one dot name, and set that to Kanye West, person one dot age four and person one dot weight to five point six. And if I run the program now, this new data takes over and replaces name, age, and weight, and then prints it out. And we can create a more useful methods than this print person instance method. For example, person object should be allowed to eat. We can create a, an instance method called eat. And it looks like this. And that's the method header. And then all we need to do is, actually we can pass in um, the amount of food that they ate by weight, food weight. And after they eat, their actual weight is going to go up, right? Self.weight, it's going to increase to so plus equal to by the food weight. So if you weigh 200 pounds and you eat five pounds of food, then now you're gonna weigh 205 pounds, right? So let's do that. And now let's go back and let's just say Kanye West is 200 pounds. Run this program. All right, so now let's say person one dot eat. And let's just say he eats something that's 2.4 pounds. If I run the program now, Kanye West weight increased by 2.4 pounds and you can see that after eating his weight increased um, accordingly and we can also print out some little statement right here print and we could say self.name ate a sandwich that weighed that weighs food underscore weight. Oh, 
pounds. So by adding that, a little print statement, it makes the little eat instance method a little bit more cooler. So if I run the program now, you can see that it prints out, before it prints out the data, it prints out Kanye West ate a sandwich that weighs 2.4 pounds, and here is his information. And just let's print out the information before he eats the sandwich, just so you can see the before and after. So here's his before data, eats a sandwich, now he's 2.4 pounds heavier. So that is how instance methods work.